With its distinctive nose, the XPT has connected Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and regional towns for 35 years. But it's fast becoming a railway relic. It can be uh, you know, quite unattractive, quite ratty at, at times. Uh, there's reliability problems as well. The New South Wales government is about to start the process of finding a replacement. And after placing previous train orders overseas, it's committed to assembling the new XPT at home. The important aspects in terms of train building, as I've come to realise, are you've got to be able to cater for the local environment, uh, tracks, terrain, and that's where building your product or your train here in Australia using local know-how and expertise actually delivers you a better product. The XPT is based on Britain's successful high-speed train, dubbed the Intercity 125 which from this year will be progressively replaced with new British-built Hitachi trains. It's a hell of a design to replace, so uh, I think they'll have a real job on with a modern train to match uh, what we have with the 125 and the XPT. The prototype has been lovingly restored at a heritage centre in Nottingham. A lot of people say that, that uh, the 125s, they, they saved long distance travel, they saved intercity rail travel, um, and they changed the way that we live in the UK as well. When the design arrived in Australia, it was considered revolutionary. It's an aircraft without wings. Speed, comfort and space saving ideas like fold down trays at your seat. Back then it set speed records. These days the XPT is often delayed. The XPTs are likely to be with us for a little while yet. The replacements aren't due to hit the tracks until early in the next decade. And Victoria is urging New South Wales to put interstate rivalry aside to build a train that serves Australians well into the future. If we can create jobs through our own government purchasing, um, let's do that because there is a win for New South Wales and a win for Victoria. Andrew Lund, Nine News.